Hey, it's Paul here on the Friendly Reviewer. On this channel, we do design and tech reviews, so make sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one. A question I often get is where's the best place for me to put my Wi Fi equipment to maximize my coverage? And that's a really custom answer for every different scenario because everyone's house is different. I recently reviewed the Amplified HD system and checked out their new beta web controller which allows you to do some simulation with this and we're going to check it out in this video. You can check out the links in the description below for everything that we talked about. Now let's check out the app. To get to the Amplified web controller, go to controller.amplify.com. You need to have Amplify hardware and set up remote access so that the hardware shows up under the Your Devices area. To use the simulator, you first create a new tab by naming it. Upload a picture of your floor plan, which I created using PowerPoint, and then click Save. Click the little box to set the scale by drawing a line on the image of something that you know the distance of and then entering that distance. Use the pencil to edit the space by adding materials to your layout. Each material is going to attenuate the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz signal in the simulator. Once you get your walls and everything in place, you're ready to place your equipment. Drag your equipment on the screen and you can see your coverage via the color-coded map. On the upper left-hand side, you can select to either view the 2.4 GHz or the 5 GHz performance. A few notes about this beta web application. Number one, you can only use each of your devices once. If you create a new tab, you must remove your device from one plan to put it in another. Personally, I'd like to use multiple copies as ideally I'd like to have a horizontal view and a vertical view since I have multiple levels. Number two, it displays how many devices, the throughput, and the band that the router and mesh points are using. You need to keep in mind that this is just for information purposes and it's not going to update as you move them around the floor plan as the system doesn't know where your devices are located. Number three, on the right side, you can monitor your current attached devices. Number four, I was not able to find anywhere to delete any materials that you accidentally placed on the floor plan. You will either need to modify them and reuse them somewhere else or place them way off to the side. Number five, the simulator doesn't appear to take into account the link between the router and the wireless mesh points. No matter how far away they are from the base router, they always show coverage right around them as if they had a wired backhaul. So you're going to have to make sure you place those mesh points where they have a good signal to the base router so they can provide you a good internet connection for your whole system. Now if you have another router that can use the wired backhaul, that's a different story. Overall, I'm pretty happy with where they're going with this tool. And it's only in beta right now, so it'll be interesting to track and see where it ends up. As far as testing it against real data, the simulation shows that if I put a router in the corner, I should be able to get decent coverage across my whole house, in which I did. And if I put some mesh points around, I should get excellent coverage, in which I also got. There's some stuff that they could use a little bit more to fix on it, and I wasn't able to model the basement, main floor, and second story, although I probably could have gotten creative and figured that out. But it'll be very interesting to track and see where this goes in the future. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the tool after watching it and what improvements you think they could make. This has been Paul with the Amplified HD Beta Web Controller. Thank you for watching. <laughs>